All right, this past week, a video was put on YouTube and instantly became an inspiration to many. Tawilla sophomore Ace Hymas, before tip-off of every home game, going over to his father, Chad, who's in a wheelchair, and gives him a big old hug. This is part of that inspirational video. Well, that is how this whole fantastic thing became public from Tooele. And the uh, guys that are a part of this are with me now. Chad Hymas, uh, welcome. And uh, your son, Ace Hymas, and then your teammate, uh, Tyler Lawrence. Guys, come in. First, Ace, we'll start with you. All right. What got you started to, to go over and honor your dad like that before each game? Um, it was actually a year ago from, uh, a year ago from uh, last night. We were playing Bear River at Bear River. Uh, and that was the first varsity game that I actually started as a freshman. Mm -hmm. And my dad flew home from uh, Greenland. He was in Greenland, flew home, got there 12 minutes before the game started. And I didn't know it, so right before tip-off, I went over and uh, knelt down, gave him a hug, told him I appreciated him being there, and ever since then, I've done it. Now, were you planning to do that, or was it something that just came to you right at that moment? It just came to me right at that moment. I mean, it was just an inspirational thought, I guess you'd say. And Dad? What's it like for you to sit there in the corner and then to have your son come over every game and honor you like that? Yeah, I've never seen it done. It, yeah. it, I've never seen it. So when you ask me what it's like, I, uh, I, I, I'm a sports freak like, like you. I, I love it. I've never, I've seen people go up and give their dads hugs after they win a championship. Mm -hmm. I've seen them college ball. I've seen that. Sure. I've never seen anything like this. So me, I, I speak for a living, speechless, couldn't say a word. I, and I still lose it today. Yeah. And Tyler's right behind him. I mean, they, 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 I just, I don't, I don't just say, Rod, I just, I, I lose it every time. Okay, yeah. let's go back, Chad. 12 years ago, um, you were put in a wheelchair. Um, explain what happened on your Elk Ranch. Prior to that, I uh, was coaching him playing, playing ball until he was three years old. So he was, he was three back then. When I say coaching him, in our garage, we have a yeah. in the garage. That's how the accident happened. I was in a hurry to get home to play some basketball with him and his younger brother. I went out to feed the elk because our dream's always been to have a farm. And I took a shortcut on the farm and uh, a bale of hay that weighs more than a vehicle rolled over backwards and landed on my body and broke three bones in my neck and I ended up being paralyzed in the hands and the legs. <laughs> now this is a story behind the story, right Ace? Yeah. Because now you're a motivational speaker mm. and you've taken what has happened to you and try to help others. Sure, yeah, that's very fair to say. And so isn't he just following in your footsteps? Yeah, but I, uh, that, you know, you, you could say that, but I, when, when, whenever that happens, whenever these guys come up and do that, I think to myself, I'm not the motivator, these guys are, because I never told them to do that. And so I don't really believe in the term motivational speaker because I'm only with an audience for an hour and I'm only with these guys for a little bit. These guys honor me by that, by, by acting. So it's demonstrated, not announced. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's, that's kind of how I look at that, that term. Uh, but you have to be proud as a parent oh, that he would even think to do oh, that. Oh, no question. Hey, no greater honor, right? I mean, you're right, absolutely right. No greater honor. And this is not only a way for you to show that you love him and everything, but the way to honor the way he's brought you up in a wheelchair. Absolutely. I mean, yes. I mean you, are you surprised by the amount of publicity that this video on YouTube has received? I, I really am. I, I mean, I was just thinking I was doing a good deed to, you know, one of my best friends, but all of a sudden, there it goes. And what's it like as a teammate, uh, Tyler, to uh, see all this and be a part of it? It's amazing. It really is a good example to watch this. Mm -hmm. Watch what happens. And I've just been following him. 
Yeah. No, that, that tells you right there too. I mean, there's a so we got the team captain. Tyler's the team captain, and the best leaders we have are the followers, right? Mm -hmm. so the best leaders you have are those that follow. And there he is following a, a, an yeah. underclassman over yeah. and hugging. And, and the thing is, this isn't something that's trying to upstage the game, right? Absolutely like not. It's just a moment. That's right. Of love. Absolutely right. It's a moment of love. Uh, a word that's hard for a high school student to say. Yeah. And I'm not even asking him to say it. Demonstrate it. So I think it's amazing. Yeah. So well, um, you know, it, I'm sure it hasn't been an easy 12 years um, right. with the situation, um, but you still run the Oak Ranch, and he still gives you a hug before every game, and then his teammate and buddy comes over. I got I got the best of both worlds. Pretty good, huh? Good stuff. Well, the video was inspirational. I don't know how you could watch it really without tearing up. It is it is an emotional uh, moment just to see that. I don't know how you keep dry eyes. I don't. I don't. I, uh, I, don't, I don't say one word to him when he does it. I can't. And uh, he doesn't say a word to me. I know what he's saying to me. Yeah. And, uh, and he knows what I'm saying to him. Uh, what I'm saying to him is I, I'm not his father. He's mine. Yeah. You know, so. Well, so. inspiration. Chad Imus. Thanks, Thanks Pleasure Imus. to Thanks. see you. You guys, Tyler and Ace, a uh, great thing that you're doing. Um, God bless you. I mean, it's an ins inspiration to a lot of people who watch that. Thanks Thank for you. coming in. Thank Thanks for having us.